Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first humble attempt to create a makeup tutorial for classical semi-classical dance cover songs during quarantine. Well, I will be taking you through step by step quickly in this video. But let me tell you, I'm not a makeup artist, so all that I shared in this video, I learned along the way as a dancer. So please stay tuned and watch till the end that you don't miss out the little tips and tricks I share. I would really appreciate if you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Let's get into the tutorial. In this video, I have already cleansed and moisturized my face and lips to begin with our makeup. But I'm using Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Sunblock as a primer. You should never skip your primer. It is very important to prime your skin before you start applying your foundation. And trust me, I have been using this for years and it has done wonders. After applying primer, wait for it to dry and go into foundation. Let your skin set it first. All set, now let's begin with our foundation. The foundation I'm using is Fit Me from Maybelline, taking a small amount and applying it all over. With my beauty blender, I will not be giving downward or upward stroke. I will start dabbing my foundation all over my face. And by doing this technique, the foundation will start blending evenly on my skin. Next, I am using Maybelline Eye Eraser Shade 144 Caramel as a concealer. Here, I start applying directly to my under eye, over my eyelid, nose, forehead, dark spots, cupid's bow, chin to conceal and brighten. To blend that out, I always go with my beauty sponge as it is so easy and works perfectly well for me. Now our base is ready. Next, I am going to set my foundation with a fixing powder and this is Derma Color Fixing Powder Water Resistant. Next, with a dry sponge, I am taking a small amount and dusting off the excess. Now, I will dab the powder all over my face and continue pressing it until it gets even. For eyebrows, I always start brushing my eyebrow with an eyebrow brush. This way, I am creating very nice base shape. To fill my brows, I'm taking an angled brush and I'm using an eyebrow cake and I'm going to outline my eyebrows first and then fill in. And don't worry if any mistakes, you can always use a concealer to fix it and get the perfect shape. Lastly, you can use the same brush and just brush it to soften it. For eyes, I'm using NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in the shade Brights. Well, you can use any eyeshadow of your choice. I personally love the colors. So I'm going to start with light orange eyeshadow and I'm going to take tiny amount and dust the excess. Now look at where I'm holding the eyeshadow blending brush. This way you will have a light grip on the brush. Now softly start blending it. Blend it evenly over and back into the crease line. Take your time in blending this area to get the depth of the color you want. I also took the same shade and applied underneath the eyes as well. Using a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm taking some concealer and applying it over my eyelid so that I get an even application when I use a shimmer eyeshadow. Next, I'm using dark shimmer pink. With a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm using a dark pink shimmer eyeshadow on my lid. Now with a blending brush, blend it evenly. For eyes, I'm using Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner. Always begin lining the outer edge of your eyelid and move towards the inner corner of your eyelid. Make sure that you go slowly and use short strokes to create an even line. I am creating just a medium wing for my dance cover look. Here I am using an eyelash curler which I have already blow dry, slightly warm. Do this process always before applying your mascara. And here I am finishing my eye makeup with Maybelline Hypercurl Mascara. Here I am using VOV bronzer to add some definition to my face. So I kinda do a 3 motion first. I start with my forehead on my hairline, then my cheekbone and later I come down to my jawline and I just keep blending. Here I am using Miss Claire Bake Blusher. This works as a blusher as well as a highlighter. Take a fluffy brush, swirl it and tap off the excess. Where to apply the blush is between the hollow of the cheeks and the cheekbones is the area where you need to apply your blush. 
Using soft stroke, move from the most prominent part of your cheekbone towards the ear lobe and move the brush in a circular motion and blend it well. I'm taking some and using over my nose, middle of my forehead and cupid's bow. Now I'm going to outline my lips with a lip liner. I'm using a lip liner of Miss Claire. You can use any lip liner of your choice. For lips, I'm using Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Artist. This is one of the best lipstick I tried and I'm in love with this. I can just coat my entire top and bottom lip with just one dip into the tube, which I really like. Basically, it's like a lip stain and does not budge. Lastly, use of setting spray is completely optional, but it is highly recommended. It will help your makeup last all day. So that's it guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial and I hope this video will help many out there. All the products that I have used in this video, I have listed in the description box down below. So please go and check it out. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do share this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear your feedbacks and suggestions. So please do comment in the comment section box. And if you have not watched my dance video, so please go and watch my dance cover video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. -bye.